Hey yo guys and welcome to a late night slash early morning upload. How is everyone doing? As the per usual, I have a friend that works over on Amazon and basically just get some information from all that stuff and I basically go and tell all of you guys all the inside details. So if you guys are still curious on the PS5 restock or any type of restocking news in general, this is the video for you guys. I'll try my best. I've been trying my best to do this throughout the past like few weeks. So uh hope you guys have all just been enjoying and all that good stuff. I know sometimes it kind of goes all over the place when it comes to restock news. So hope you guys don't mind me doing these videos in the first place. As always, guys, make sure you guys always go and check on down below for the Amazon Amazon link to see if there's ever any stock uh, warehouse sales or anything like that always linked down below on top of the Twitter and Twitch stream linked down below too as well and of course the Weeble and Coinbase link down below Weeble you guys go deposit $100 with the link down below you guys get a bunch of free stocks or Coinbase you guys go buy $100 worth of Bitcoin Ethereum or whatever with that link and you guys get free Bitcoin so it's always linked down below in our little sell out things and leave a like subscribe and all that good stuff because we are giving away a PS5 as well if you guys just want to enter win on that one or be on top of the PS5 restock news I got you guys all right so hi hello everyone so this video is gonna be around maybe four or so different topics I want to get into uh number one I want to get into the actual uh digital and disc pure normal consoles let's say that that'll be first and we want to go into the warehouse stuff then I want to go talk more about the bundles and I want to more talk about maybe just potential and why the bundles were kind of happening as well like kind of a lot of stuff to kind of cover throughout this video so I guess uh stay on tune as well and you want to go and say my friend actually that works in Amazon actually had off. So I was just texting one of his friends and he got his number and he was like, why do you even care about this? I told him I make YouTube videos, videos on it. And he called me a nerd. <laughs> so in all honesty, uh, <laughs> You, you, you can't win them all guys you can't you can't win them all but he was a nice guy too as well so i uh, anyway, do <laughs> anyway so number one uh when it comes to the actual digital and disc stuff when it comes to all this stuff we still have no information uh if you guys saw my previous video on that they basically did go and say they did order it from uh actual sony but ever since then they've actually not had any pop-ups or anything kind of happen i just had a pop-up on my computer i had uh, they basically had no information kind of come on through from sony which I guess kind of makes sense too, and I'll kind of talk about that more for the terror stuff that we found out about yesterday. Uh, but when it comes to that stuff, we didn't hear any more major news. We do know that they are on the way soon. They're being like in process. They're going to be sent on out. So we do know that uh, actual Amazon has ordered them. Management knows they're coming eventually, but I think with all these other areas as well, the Targets, Best Buy, Walmarts, etc., GameStops, wherever, they're still having all those issues with actually receiving them. Uh, so they just know they're going to be soon. We don't know when exactly. It could even be today. Probably not, though, based on how the other major places are, but that's for the normal disc and digital pure console. No bundles, no nothing. Number two, Amazon warehouses. So if you guys don't know, I mentioned every video, but if you guys don't, I, have got a lot, I get a lot of new viewers when it comes to these stuff. Um, Amazon warehouses are just consoles sold directly from Amazon before they were slightly overpriced. AK like an extra $20, $50 directly from Amazon. Now they seem a little bit more cheaper. Uh, apparently there are supposed to be coming more tomorrow. So I'll probably have a more update video for you guys on that tomorrow if I hear more details. But apparently all that stuff is coming on very soon when it comes to that. And as I mentioned, these are basically just sold through Amazon. They're all verified and stuff. So that's why I was you guys to check the link down below for the Amazon stuff in case you've ever actually randomly restock. Because this is only for Chicago, only in the Midwest. It could happen in New York, Florida, California, Seattle, wherever. So just letting you guys all know, there's, it's not my area is not the only end all be all when it comes to actual stock but i usually think it's a good indicator because chicago in the midwest is a very big area so if stuff's happening here it's probably going to happen somewhere else as well so let you guys know about that one that we'll probably maybe hear more news on that tomorrow so be on the lookout for that if we hear any more information my friend's also working i usually get more information off of him as well because he knows me this was a really awkward conversation i was just texting the guy it was really weird i felt like an interviewer it was very awkward so i guess leave a like and subscribe for that one if i can beg for it it was uh not fun <laughs> to say the least uh but anyway uh next part two as well so basically like i said warehouse stuff maybe be more on the lookout tomorrow i'll let you guys know you guys can keep on checking throughout the day if you guys want to see in case there's any more stuff just throughout the day as well as have a link down below next major thing is the bundles if you guys didn't see yesterday's video the, they basically were stocking up more stockpiles for stuff aka like games controllers and stuff like that headsets for maybe potential bundles we were speculating that it actually might be more on the bundle restock or bundle information or whatever i'm gonna guess that would make sense and I'll ramble on that in like in a minute, but I think that would make a lot of sense. And we talked about before how there's more bundles coming on in and we were debating on if Amazon would actually do their own proper bundles themselves, which I thought would be kind of weird because I would still consider it more on a third party that would want to do that because we heard more about the actual Amazon bundles maybe like three days ago because some of those were popping on up. 
but a lot of those more, I think, based on pure third party instead of anything else. So in my head, I'm not 100% sure. It seems kind of weird, uh, but I'll, I definitely really want to be on the lookout. I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat as well. Some of the bundles aren't that bad in terms of price-wise and such. I think I would probably buy more bundles myself if it was with the game bundle I enjoyed and liked, but sometimes they're like really weird. It's like Call of Duty, and I'm like, eh. Eh, I mean, I don't hate it, but eh. so I'll let you guys know more on the bundles, but it did kind of seem like they were stocking up more supplies for that. Once again, I don't know if that's through Amazon or more so through more of like a third party reseller that's trying to go collect it. I'm not sure if there's like individual deals that Amazon, the company can do to go list it because I know they could always sell stuff from warehouse sales in terms of like basically if you're a third party seller, you they have your stock and they actually have it in the warehouse itself, not like from warehouse sales from Amazon, more so someone else's. Uh, stock if that makes sense and hopefully it does so I'm not really 100% sure on that I will keep you guys updated as we learn more I feel like I'm a detective by the way for all these videos like I feel like I'm like a news reporter but uh yeah we I'll keep you guys in the date uh, up to date because it just seems really weird out of Amazon's norm so I'm just not sure I do kind of want to get to the bottom of all that I'm not 100% sure now I want to get to the last point where I was kind of saying I, I think it's kind of interesting is I wonder if a lot of this stuff is getting delayed. We talked about this on yesterday's video, if you guys want to watch. It was more about, it was the video about the price of the PS5, which I think will be very interesting speculation overall. But I'm very curious, because if you guys have been seeing all these major retailers, the Targets, Walmarts, etc., Amazon, they really haven't dropped too much in terms of actual stock. And I keep on hearing soon TM, soon TM, soon TM from all these places. Uh, same with Amazon, too, and that's even with us having inside details and knowing managers and, uh, you know, actual inventory managers and stuff like that. So to me, it's kind of weird because I do wonder if all the tariffs go and tie back into that as well. So if you guys saw last night's video, we kind of saw that a lot of the tariffs for Sony, uh, the Switches, and all of that. If you guys want to watch, it's actually a good, at least in my opinion, a good video. Uh, and I kinda curious, I'm kind of curious with that. Either number one just makes it harder for Sony to actually go and send them on over because just the increased price and production cost to actually go and send them on over if you include like the tax, like the embargo tax and tariff tax, or if it's just more so harder on the end for like Amazon, Target, Walmart to basically go and want to afford it, or they're trying to maybe wait for the tariff to be able to be fought by lobbyists. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work out more in the actual, I guess, like business end of it because I'm not sure who more so takes the cut. I'd imagine it'd be... Maybe the businesses like Walmart, Target, etc., because that would just mean that they're the ones that are selling the product and that they'd probably want to assume the cost itself. If you guys are more business, please tweet at me or let me know uh, or give me your thoughts in the comment section down below because I'm not sure when it comes to larger tariffs on if it's the company that's producing it, aka Sony, that's sending it on over to America or the companies themselves that would have to pay that increased uh, actual cost itself. So I actually have no idea. I actually love to know. Maybe I'll make a talk about that or if I learn more into it. Maybe I'll research it to myself. So I think they may have a big reason of why the stock might be getting delayed. It would make sense, especially for a lot of these other major places too as well. And maybe I'd want to go more in depth on a video later on today if I do more research or look more into it. But it might have a big reason on why the actual Amazon normal stock, disc and digital, might be getting delayed. As well, I do want to keep saying it could also even happen soon. I don't know. I don't have the end-all be-all. I'm only in one region, so I'm not 100% sure on where it would be or how it work so if you guys want to leave a comment down below or a discussion on that i would love to see it more so so i can just creep on this just in general and just thank you guys all so much for watching like a uh, really quick recap for it basically digitals we're still not sure like normal stock not sure warehouse we're thinking tomorrow i'll give you guys an update tomorrow if i hear some more news from my friend and then the bundles we'll hear more information hopefully sometime soon we'll be able to go and talk about that but I'm very curious in all three and also on top of the tariff stuff too as well. I'll try to research because I'm not sure myself or if you guys in, like down below would know or if you guys are managers, I would love to know myself. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the video. Quick little recap video. Nothing amazingly news-wise happening, but at least there's some stuff that's kind of going on. We have some speculation throughout the week at least. And I think this week might have some good information as well. So at least we do have that going on for us. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys all for existing and chilling and everything. You guys are all fantastic. And I love you guys all and appreciate you guys all. Make sure you guys are subscribed for the PS5 giveaway or just for restocking news. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it or comment down below your thoughts. On top of that, always make sure you guys check on the Amazon link, link down below, as well as the Twitter and Twitch stream. 
all if you guys would like to as well and of course the weeble and coinbase weeble you guys go and verify your account up on that basically you guys go get a bunch of free money if you guys deposit 100 dollars or coinbase if you guys go and ever buy 100 dollars with any cryptocurrency basically you guys go get free bitcoin so those are all linked down below as usual thank you guys all so much for watching uh check out the videos from last night too we had some good target ones uh good scalper ones and everything so if you guys are still bored you guys want to watch those go check those videos out on the channel i appreciate you guys all so much for watching hope you guys all have a good rest of your nights good rest of your days whatever time zone it is for you guys and i'll see you guys all later on for more news as well thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye guys bye 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 as well also too as well like i said i want to talk about that terrorist too so definitely please leave a comment down below for that all right i love you guys